because of these places, sir, there are prayers God have not, has not answered. Not because he doesn't want to answer it. But people have not grown to handle such answers. I have a son. I have one son at the moment. He is, how old is he? He should be nine or something. He's nine. Hugo is nine. No matter how I love him, I can't give him the, my khaki. Hey, daddy, do you love me? Yes, I love you. Daddy, your khaki legs us. I know if I give it to him, he will die. To be able to drive that car, he has to grow. See, a lot of people have not been able to handle what they are praying for because they have not grown to handle it. God looks at them and knows that what they are praying for will kill them. That's why any time God will bless a generation, he first of all brings them to the path of growth. He makes them to grow. He makes them to learn and to grow. When they have matured, because when Paul was writing, he said, a child, even though the whole inheritance of the house belongs to him, differed not from a servant. There is no difference between him and the servant. The Bible says he is put under the servant. He is subject to the servant. Even though the servant is not the owner of the house, the boy will be under the servant until the time appointed when the child has grown. What it means is that a child that is one year and the father supplied all the things in the house, Cyrillac, nanny can eat it and the child can't talk. My father used to tell us that the nanny they had those days, not nanny actually, somebody that was older, he let us saw the woman, they would give them meat, the woman would eat the whole meat and show them bone. And do like this, and say this is the bone of somebody that is dead. Let the person kill you, let, they will start crying. Say so you will tell anybody the, the person, hey, you are dead. They start crying. Because he was a child. But when he grew and the woman ate the meat again, he collected the meat from the woman and said, it's not the bone of anything. So growth has to happen before God can transfer a will. If a man writes his will and dies and the child is seven years, what will the lawyer do? Come and give the child the will. And maybe the mother is dead. The, the, the barrister keeps the will in his custody and be training the child. Give the child Cyrillac. Send the child to school. Give the child feeding bottle. 12 years, 15 years. Send the child to maybe boarding school. Child comes out, goes to university. One day, when the lawyer looks that the child has all it takes to read the father's will, he brings the child in and says, that estate belongs to your father. I can't manage it for you again. Take. Because he has grown to handle. So until growth happens, there are things you can't handle. Growth has to handle. Growth has to happen before you can handle all that is yours. He has given us all that pertain to life and godliness. Can I have Ephesians 1 3? Oh, blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. But why are we not experiencing this blessing? 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. 2 Peter 1 3. Why are we not expecting experiencing this blessing? He said, As his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him. Who has called us by glory? Why are a lot of believers not receiving this? Why? Daniel 11.32 Remember this one is through the knowledge. Daniel 11.32 Those who do wickedly against the covenant shall corrupt with flattery. Shall he corrupt with flattery? But the people who know their God they shall be strong they shall do exploits. The devil is afraid of the man that knows. I told us before, I shared it before. I was driving at Holy Ghost. I just bought my car. My car, that car was like a wife I married. I went to camp. Then, years ago, 2007, I used 30,000 to put pioneer speakers. I'll be playing the thing here. In Amity Road, you'll be hearing it. And I used to own the volume very well. 
I, I was visiting people. You know, there are things I see people do. I will tell people to understand them because even myself, I did them. Song, dim, 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 everywhere. So I was passing Holy Ghost. One of these people with reflective verse stopped me. I said, oh, you are playing music. I said, yes. He said, where is your radio permit? I said, radio permit. He said, yes. I said, I don't have radio permit. He said, ah! He said, you don't have radio permit. I said, I don't have radio permit. That I don't, nobody told me none about a radio permit. Came for radio. The man said, no, 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 no. He called the other person, he spoke. He said, no, you are, you are just, this your car is impounded. And then he collected, I think that day, 7,000 from me. And then saw that they need to collect more. He said, there is a receipt you need to go and get in the Enugu North. So I drove in. He, he called someone, gave me the number. He said, call this number. If you don't pick it, you are God. I got to the guy. The guy looked at me. He said, so you don't have radio permit? I said, I say, that's the, he said that you are going to. The guy tore a paper and wrote radio permit receipt and gave me the paper. I said, this is temporal. After two weeks, you will now correct, collect the original. And I wanted, the guy said, no, that my money has not finished. It is remaining 2,000. He called one funny amount. 2,770. You know that kind of 70 something naira couple. So I gave him. By the time I came out, the person that was waiting for me said, ah, what delayed you? He said, I'm not ready to go and radio permit. What's him radio? Give him radio permit. He said, radio permit. And I said, I'm afraid about radio. What's him? No. He said, no, they were serious. Nandi eji de tibegi, na eji degi, na eji muna aga kwa tata. Father, God even saved me. Hanarum, be 10,000. What's him? Kedi, na eji mwete de ten. Obun ye de radio. I won't forget. I see me bo ye de li. Radio permit. Plato, philosopher Plato says, my ignorance is the greatest master over my life. What a man does not know masters the man. A man will always be under the rulership of what he doesn't know. Came back from a, a program certain day in the afternoon, took my suit, dashed on the chair. Went out. In the night, came back, opened the door, looked, I saw someone sitting on my chair, I ran back. I opened quietly again, I saw somebody on the chair. So I went and stood that, stayed downstairs. My father came back. He said, why are you downstairs? And even my elder brother, when he came, he said, I'm to Kuneno. Himself went to watch match, waiting for my father to come. When my father came back, he said, why are you here? I said, somebody is in our room, in our pub. My father said, Oh, yeah, Dioji called your chance. Yeah, not Dioji. The person, Dioji. I said, What do you mean? He said, The person is there. Oh, yeah, took like this. I was sick. My father was climbing the staircase, afraid. But he didn't want to tell me he's afraid. You know, one day I was watching with my daughter, Dean. I was watching Commando. And he was doing, and he would carry car and throw. And he said, Let my daddy catch you. He will just beat you. He said, eh, dim. He said, he, she believed I'm the strongest. So I was following my father. My father would turn and say, you say, I say, yes, the person uh, sitting like this. So do you know what my father did? He opened the door and threw the door. He reached out to the socket on the wall and pulled up the light. I saw that that thing like this is suit. I threw out in the afternoon when I came back. I carried the suit. I nearly threw it away. The devil is powerful in darkness. You didn't hear it. Once light comes, it reveals the smallness of the